about his work and what he's been doing here in Oklahoma. Uh, Melvin is from Houston originally, and he's been working uh, at a high level in the arts for over 50 years. His first exhibition at the uh, Museum of Santa Barbara in 1964. And so in 2016, here is a solo show of the um, he is, has explored visual culture throughout the world, Cuba, parts of Africa, throughout the United States, uh, and he has been working primarily known for welding and experimenting with forms and assemblages from found materials. And as you see in the gallery, all the, the metal work you see, the sculptural work in the Korean gallery, not created here in Oklahoma for materials to be found around scrapyards in Oklahoma City. And so uh, we are really excited the show is finally open to have an artist of Mills caliber come to us and say, I want to make some original work in the city. Uh, it's just a tremendous gift for us, and we're extremely thankful to him and to uh, Alexander Gray Gallery for uh, facilitating this show. So I will see the floor now to Melvin Edwards. He's far more interested than me. So a big round of applause for him. and stuff that goes with uh, working the work that we do, uh, that is those of us who work in three dimensions, and uh, take those dimensions and change it, and uh, hopefully somebody appreciates it. It's nice to see you here. I appreciate being here. The hospitality has been good in all directions. Uh, I've probably worn out the uh, studio David Phelps, because his hospitality has allowed me to do the work that I've <clears throat> done here. Uh, it's a very nice bed and a very nice little house in the woods that uh, James Cooker has allowed me to use. And I uh, appreciate it. just all of the needs. Of course, the uh, members of the museum, uh, staff, um, I appreciate more. They've got a very active staff. Steve has been with me every day. So anything I know about the Oklahoma City and where to get what from barbed wire to anything else uh, has been courtesy with me and the, the staff. Jennifer Sandlin, the curatorial interest and activity has made things just go. Jeremiah even wears the same size shoe that I do. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, we will get along. I have friends here. Uh, uh, a lot of the attention of my work in the last uh, five years has been courtesy of the uh, 50 year retrospective organized by the National Museum in Dallas. Here, so the big book on the counter, and I'm in it, but she put it together. Uh, my gallery that represents me in New York, uh, Alexander Gray, uh, and uh, the right hand person who I'd rather talk to when I call them, Alex and Carla, is here. Just, uh, and I know there are more people in the meeting tonight. I'm sure enough to have some of this. Anyway, we'll look at the work again. Uh, this, this attempt, uh, an effort to do a body of work in a relatively short period, which means uh, it's improvisation. And that's fine with me because I respect the improvisation of significant musicians, uh, poets who have real. And not to step on you totally, I'm not talking about hip hop and hip hop and young stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not against anything, but I know some that do it better and started it 34 years ago. And I guess that's maybe I'm just dating myself in terms of age. And a lot of what I think about in my terms and in terms, in terms uh, come from. Up. And uh, I did 
ideas to work as a young person. But I like architecture, I like the music. I at least learned how to use architectural drafting to music. I'm a great film director. And I guess we can start the slides because pictures are better than that. Uh, the group of, of pieces that I brought here are a fine sculpture from Gabon. Uh, the next one will be Calvin and White uh, material. Wait, I don't go so fast. Yeah. Uh, that uh, piece is a helmet for the Udala people in Nigeria. And then the small welded steel piece next to it is by Robert Jacobson, who is a very significant sculptor from Denmark, uh, who lived in other countries in Europe as well. Is of the generation of David Smith and those people that we might know better in the United States. And but any activity that any of us is involved in probably has another example somewhere else in the world. As much as we would like to be unique and absolutely. The truth is, human beings often are involved in the same things or similar things in other places. The sculpture on the right. Is a chalkway sculpture from Angola. So uh, I've really tried to touch on uh, my interest in African sculpture. And since 1970, uh, I've been going to Africa regularly. And uh, as my mother says in Los Angeles, when you go to Dakar, more than you come to see me, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, the time is about the same. But we took the flight. But uh, as of our ancestors, and she's very much for the health of the dimension she can come to. Uh, next slide. Uh, the round one, the circular one, uh, uh, it's not just that there is one here that worked out perfectly for me, but when I was about 25 or so, I read a book about perception. And discuss that uh, people in the world who lived in uh, architectural dwellings that were circular suffered less from optical illusions than people who grow up in right angle dwellings. And it was right in the early period of those works, and I hope sometime to uh, create a uh, uh, space that I could have for people like that. I then extended the idea and said, well, if I'm thinking geometrically, uh, maybe a perfectly triangular room that is equilateral, or a perfectly square space might also be as some expression. At least I can see the three. And that kind of is an architecture an equation for me for cubism, if you will, in another way. Next slide. Well, oh, there's another example of that, except this time it's in part and you know, uh, uh, in artists talking about linear expression, uh, at least in my years of learning, uh, uh, wouldn't have been considered much as a material, except for uh, possibly uh, people knowing it was a way to keep the cows at home, or perhaps the uh, concentration camps uh, of the Second World War, or other reservations that were used here. But this was actually used in the Americas before as a material that uh, imposed people before it happened in uh, Europe. Uh, so anyway, materials have their history. If you want to be an artist, and uh, it's a visual artist, I always thought that I had to know forms and objects the way poets are aware of words, that their meanings are multiple, and that they all depend on the context that they are in, that they put them in. You know, like the word love shows up in poetry and song all over the world and all his eggs. But you could say, I'd like to kill this. And the vow is where you put the word. Love, like, where does love fit? Is it a positive thing or negative or even neutral? 
So uh, as a sculptor, materials out there, the use of the uh, circular disc, which is a disc power, a disc for agriculture. The circularity has been considered a significant thing in the civil discourse. And uh, we know it's completely about agriculture. But circles aren't the only way they cultivate. Next slide. This one is dedicated actually to everything that's happening today, uh, not here. Uh, it's dedicated because today is the uh, coronation of the new Oba of Benin in Nigeria. And Benin is a place where all of the great bronzes come from. And my invitation was to go to that. Um, and so I, but I got called from the to, to congratulate you on the exhibition here. And today is the day that uh, they give the name of the new Oba. And so it's Memoria of the Second, which means a state from the earlier world. Uh, the man who's become Oba was actually a graduate student in developing urban research and urban development. Uh, at Rutgers University. So I knew him a bit there many years ago. But um, the connection is better than that because I spent time on the street of the Gumi Romo, which is the street of the broadcasters in Benin. And that history uh, goes back to at least the year 800, possibly more, and so on to that. So being a part of the world, knowing its history, Places. And we all know that Oklahoma was not always just Oklahoma. It was the whole Western Hemisphere. So, next slide. Uh, these are a small group of smaller pieces. Uh, thematically, uh, called the Breaking of the Chains. And it really is taken from an excerpt of a speech by Martin Luther King, which is a promenade. Developed in San Diego, California, which I did a large piece for. Uh, but the, uh, the excerpt of his speech, which I'm paraphrasing, but someone must eliminate the idea of hate and uh, emphasize the ethic of love. And there were these bronze plaques on the sidewalk, so you won't see them. Uh, 20 feet or so, and you see a different uh, quote from his work. Uh, I did an illustration of a large sculpture related to it. So the column of chain and mapping goes about 20 feet into the air. And then so this is a small uh, way of referencing those ideas. Next slide, please. These are the works that I've uh, been doing in handmade paper. Paper making at the Dearborn Land, which is a place in New York who specializes in those processes. And around 2000, uh, I was invited to work with them. And uh, there was a retrospective survey that my works are in the paper. And they suggested that I might be interested. Uh, I did get very interested. From my point of view, extending some ideas that I haven't been developing related to spray drawings or watercolor drawings and the kind of stencil and going back into drawing kind of system. Uh, so, this is paper pulp handled in a room, so the size of the spray section uh, with hoses, spraying water, buckets of pulp, gallons of water. Uh, anyway, uh, I haven't seen the works that are here totally uh, because it takes about three weeks for them to dry. And uh, so what you're seeing here, I just saw the other day in Final Four. Uh, and I'm happy with them because they reference uh, image-wise the many of the things that I work with that I'm interested in. Next. Okay. This is the one we have. 
rough time in heaven. This uh, identifiable focus is a plot, an old plot. Uh, and I've used uh, that form once before in 1966 or so. Uh, that piece was called Earth Thing, uh, and it goes horizontally across the floor, floor and I was sitting with feet. This one was suspended, and uh, it wasn't easy to get the balance right because we were working with a limited amount of time. But uh, with the uh, staff here, we got it on the way with some steel that I may have confiscated from David Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, one of the things people say found objects, find them, you steal them. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is you get them and then uh, they find the possible buildings. Thanks. This was a kind of uh, architectural reference in that the, the lip segments were always, uh, I always described it as hanging 69 inches off the floor because it's my eye level um, uh, to the whole of the back of the sculpture. So anybody who sees it, we're dealing with uh, the same conceptual level and action. Um, but I thought if one is on one wall, to another, and sure, visually you can act it But why not give the example? And also, what with the gravity and everything, I can check. Because steel, we tend to think of as a rigid material, and chain expresses its flexibility. Well, this one is a uh, variant. But it shows the uh, flexibility of what happens with weight in it. And uh, with, so the triangular drawing is part of one line. And one line is very hard to see because of the lighting is. But there's a line, a line that goes from the point of the top back down to the corner. And the different ways of dissecting the drawing in the space. At the same time, I'm going to related directly to the uh, sculpture that's on the wall, so I have at least one of them inside of the space that you have to see it through the wall. Next. Well, given that the material uh, is used uh, in a number of other ways, uh, and this again is a reference to architecture, the, the easiest thing the easiest example I can find is to look at books that deal with the Udapa. And there are houses made out of leaves. Uh, they're curved, you know, they're, they're folded or bent that way. Uh, and then there's total weed architecture. Well, that's biblical to you. Moses was found in the books. And in that region, they built weed houses and still do. Places close to it. The same is true, except they've uh, drained the waterways and the rock. Uh, in other words, here is why I want to ask the positive pictures and uh, my references. Uh, and probably don't get your attention. The drawing I made about 35 years ago, and this is the first time that the pieces were made. And that's one of the things that happened. You don't get to exhibit everything, or you don't get to complete every thought that we have, but uh, we have an opportunity to have something that we have to do. Yeah. Is it a question? This one is going to be to J.D. Washington, who, if you were allowed to be around 16 years of age, I knew him. So teenager I was uh, 16 to 18, and he was my little brother's brother, and they were 10 years younger than me. They were the kids. Uh, JB lasted six weeks in Vietnam. Um, I'm 
never like the idea of human beings solving their problems by war. We're better than that, but we don't evidently do better than that. I hope we'll be now so that we can do things better than that. Dax, J.D. would have been a grandfather. Next slide. Another way of playing with the elements that I might uh, create a very difficult kind of structure. It's simply eight banks of the third grade is down. Next. Just to show you that the man is connected to a man. <laughs> Simplistic idea, but the way of illustrating it I thought was interesting. And the gravity of the flow, if you remember the connecting of the chain, uh, and we got both. And so here it is with barbed wire. Barbed wire is just wire, it's just a little pointed. And as my cousin said, we have a little city boy here. Supposed to be out there in the past. It is true. <laughs> Next slide. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yep. Yeah, well, um, the West Over the Exhibition. Thank you for coming. Thank you for paying attention to my work. I truly appreciate your interest.